Hi everyone, my name is Jordi. Today I will explain how you can connect multiple Logitech devices to the new Logibolt USB-C receiver that comes with the Logitech MX Master 4. I will go through everything step by step so it's easy to follow. Let's get started with this tutorial. The first step is to connect the Logibolt USB-C receiver to a USB-C port on your computer or laptop. Next, turn on the Logitech MX Master 4 using the switch on the bottom of the mouse. Make sure it is set to Easy Switch 1, as this is the default setting. For this tutorial, you will need the Logi Options Plus software. You can download it using the link in the description below. If you do not have access to another keyboard, Windows got you covered. Open Start, go to Settings, then Accessibility, and select Keyboard. Turn on the on-screen keyboard so you can still type when needed. Once the Logi Options Plus software is installed, open it and you will see the MX Master 4 in the Device Overview. In this tutorial, I want to add my Logitech MX Mechanical Keyboard to the same Logibolt USB-C receiver. Make sure the device you want to add is turned on. To connect the keyboard, click on Add Device in the top right corner. In this overview, you can see the connected receivers and the Logitech devices linked to each receiver. Select the Logibolt USB-C receiver where the MX Master 4 is already connected. Now you need to choose which Easy Switch button you want to use for the keyboard. The MX Master 4 is set to Easy Switch 1, so I will also set my MX Mechanical Keyboard to Easy Switch 1. Press and hold the Easy Switch 1 button on the keyboard until the device is recognized. Then click Connect. Type the requested numbers on the keyboard for verification, then finish the sequence by pressing Enter. In the final step, Logi Options Plus confirms that the device is connected and ready to be set up. You can continue setting up your device preferences, or you can close this window. When you connect the keyboard, you need to type that sequence of numbers. When connecting a mouse, they will ask for a random sequence of left and right clicks. If you make a mistake during these steps, you will see an error message saying fail to verify this device. You can simply try again and still connect your device. When we look at the device overview on Logi Options Plus, you will now see both devices connected to the Logibolt USB-C receiver on Easy Switch Button 1. Let's talk about Logibolt receivers in general. At the time of this video, the MX Master 4 is the only Logitech device that comes with a Logibolt USB-C receiver. Other Logitech devices use the Logibolt USB-A receiver. If you want to use Logitech devices on another PC or laptop, and your second Logibolt receiver is USB-A, you're still good to go. The Logitech MX Master 4 also works with the Logibolt USB-A receiver. The Logibolt USB-A and USB-C receivers use the same protocol, so the main difference is the connector. So you can simply add the MX Master 4 to a Logibolt USB-A receiver. I also get a lot of questions about the unifying receiver. Logitech devices that came with a unifying receiver do not support a Logibolt receiver. Unifying and Logibolt use different protocols, so you cannot combine these devices on a single receiver. But how do you know if your Logitech device is Logibolt compatible? Well, look for the Logibolt logo on the bottom of your device. If you see it, your device works with all Logibolt receivers. It's also good to know that you can connect up to 6 Logitech devices to a single Logibolt receiver. In this tutorial, I used one MX Master 4 mouse and one MX Mechanical Keyboard, but you can follow the same steps for up to 6 Logibolt compatible devices. And that's it for this tutorial on connecting multiple Logitech devices to a single Logibolt USB-C receiver. Let me know in the comments which Logitech devices you use and what kind of tutorial you would like to see next. If you found this video helpful, consider leaving a like and it would be awesome if you could subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Have a great day.